More than 50% of adults have contracted a form of genital HPV. So what are the health consequences of an HPV infection? The human papillomavirus, or HPV, is an extremely common viral infection. There are about 40 varieties that infect the genitals and which can be passed through sexual contact even if a person is not exhibiting symptoms. Genital HPV's effects on health can be severe and will vary depending on the HPV strain. After a person contracts HPV, his or her body can develop some immunity to it. That immune response can prevent symptoms should a person be reinfected or if their infection lingers. Each strain of HPV has a particular effect on the body. The one that causes genital warts, for example, doesn't cause precancerous lesions. But it is possible to be infected with multiple strains of genital HPV at the same time. Some strains of the virus don't have an impact in the body. With no symptoms, a person may not even know they have HPV. Other strains produce genital warts, which may appear as a single swelling or a rash. These pink or flesh-colored bumps are usually soft to the touch. Most have a unique cauliflower-like shape that is raised and bumpy. Warts can appear on the thighs, anus, and groin area in both men and women. Men can develop them on the penis and scrotum, while women may get warts inside the vagina and cervix. Genital warts are generally harmless. However, more severe health problems will follow from infection with one of the 13 high-risk strains of genital HPV. If someone contracts high-risk strains repeatedly or develops a lingering infection, the long-term damage can prompt precancerous or cancerous tumor growths to form. In women, persistent genital HPV infections are a precursor to both cervical and vaginal cancers. In fact, a person cannot contract these cancers unless they've had genital HPV. Cervical cancer starts out as a collection of precancerous cells, a condition called dysplasia. A pap smear can detect even mild dysplasia, which usually can be fully treated. In rare cases, prolonged infections in men can also lead to penile cancer. Both men and women are also susceptible to cancers of the anus, mouth, and throat as a result of repeated infections with the HPV strains targeting these areas. This means that anal and oral sex are not without HPV risks. If an HPV infection is caught early, a doctor can begin treatments to prevent precancerous growths from becoming cancerous. Genital HPV has no cure, but its symptoms can be treated. For this reason, it's important to talk to your doctor about safe sex precautions and STD testing. If you thought that clip was interesting, check out all of our videos only at sexhealthguru.com.